Welcome to Addicted to Real Estate TV. On today's episode, I'm going to talk about you don't find real estate deals. You find opportunities and then you turn them into deals. So stick around. I got some great information to share with you. To say you got to know somebody or know somebody to give somewhere these days. To say you know that car ride, yeah, that's all right. Welcome to Addicted to Real Estate TV. I'm your host, Phil Falcone. Today's episode was sponsored by Realty Mark 100, where real estate agents, for only $100 a month, get to keep 100% of their commission. I know, you're thinking I must be lying to you, but I'm not. And it even gets better than that. Go to RealtyMark100.com and watch the video there. It's only two minutes. If you're a real estate agent, you got to watch it. This idea, Realty Mark 100, the system that this company has, is going to kick everybody's ass. You got to check it out. They're the hottest real estate company coming up in the nation today. And this time next year is going to be a household name. So if you're an agent, you definitely want to check it out. There's some advantages to getting in on the ground floor. So let's get on with our show today. Today, what I wanted to talk to you about is you don't find real estate deals, you find opportunities and you turn them into deals. What I mean by that is I've been thinking on a whole new level these days, constantly learning, constantly growing, spending as much time as I can associating with individuals who are smarter than me, who are doing things in the real estate world that I haven't always done well, and trying to learn. I've done more learning and more growing in the last two years than ever in my entire 22 year career in real estate. And if you're not learning and growing and surrounding yourself with people who are you know, smart and who are positive and who are moving in great directions, you'll really need to think about that. I wrote a whole chapter in my book called uh, you know, the, the Theory of Association. It's actually called The Audio Tape That Changed My Life is the name of the chapter. And if you haven't checked out my book, it's Addicted to Real Estate, Why I Can't Stop and Why You Should Start. And you want to make sure you check it out. It's a tremendous book. I, uh, I have 22 years experience in this business, like I said. And what I've done is some of the craziest commercial deals you've ever heard of. And the reader, what the reader gets to do when you read my book is stand behind my shoulder and listen to the stories about some of these crazy real estate deals that has priceless information for real estate investors to learn from. Okay, so let's get back to, to today's subject. What I'm trying to do today is constantly looking for opportunities. You know, th there isn't just one thing that works anymore today, all right? So if I, I drop a lot of marketing and I find out about houses that people want to sell. I have a giant We Buy Houses thing on, on, on my truck. You can see it behind me. And what I'm doing there is trying to get sellers, people who own homes, people who want to sell those homes to call me directly because the best real estate deal that you're ever going to make in your life and should I say the best opportunity that you're ever going to get in the real estate business is when you get to deal directly with the seller. So that's what my focus is on all the time. Now when I sit in front of that seller, there's a lot of different ways that I can put that deal together. I want to listen to what the situation is with the house, what they think it's worth. And I want to care enough about their situation to ask questions about why are they selling the house? What do they need the money for? Okay, That's key. You've really got to know that because what happens sometimes is someone says, well, you know, I want to move to Florida and I need $40,000 to buy this, this, you know, or I want to buy a condo down in Florida. Well, don't just stop there. Really? How much is the condo you want to buy? What kind of money do you need down on it? Because what that will reveal to you is the amount of cash or private money or whatever it is you're going to put down on this house the amount that you're going to need to put that deal together. So it's critical that you ask these questions. It's critical that you care enough about their situation so that you can structure a deal that's going to help them and you. That's how you get deals done directly with sellers. And um, look, I own my own real estate office and I love realtors, but the best deals sometimes are not the ones that have realtor signs on the lawn. The best deals are the ones where you have a seller that you can deal with directly and figure out what it is that they need and give them what they need and you get what you want. 
So what I do with an opportunity like that is right away I get into, I check out the house, I make sure I understand what their motivation is. Then I find out what the deal is with the mortgage. Now if it's a free and clear house, right away I know I'm going to structure some kind of seller financing with them. And you know, I've made a lot of videos about seller financing, so I'm not going to get into that right now. If you, if you sign up for my web TV show, Addicted to Real Estate, where you put your name and email address in on the front page of my website, addictedtorealestate.com, you can look through some of the old uh, videos and check out the seller financing strategies. Okay, so that's a great thing to do, man. Financing is key in this business. The next thing, say they have a mortgage. A lot of people have mortgages, and uh, you know maybe they're uh, they might not be upside down. They might have a little bit of equity, but they got a mortgage in place already. Subject to, man, that's the way to go with that. Take over the financing. Now you're talking about you've structured yourself and no money down deal. Right? And that's something that I love to do. I'll buy houses that have minimum cash flow if I can get in them for no money down. That's a, a buy and hold strategy, of course, because you got a property that's not cash flowing a lot, but hopefully, you know, you're gonna you're gonna pick up on the upside potential of that property down the road. And you might even be able to structure several of them where you get the uh, you get the seller to agree to put up some money. Uh, ahead of time so you get paid to buy that kind of house and it's rare that it happens but you gotta ask you never get anything in this business unless you ask for it you know I was a salesman uh, earlier in my career which seems like another life uh, I went to school for engineering and then I was a salesman and a great salesman said to me you know did when I was first coming up in the sales business he said to me did, did you close the deal and I said well you know I, I didn't close the deal I was working on a lot of things he goes uh, he goes, well, did you ask him for the order? Did you ask for the order? You know what? He was right. I didn't ask. You're never going to get it unless you ask. So you want to get paid to buy a house? Sounds like a pipe dream, doesn't it? I get paid to buy houses. Not all the time. Not some of the time. It's rare, but I get paid to buy houses sometimes, and it's because I ask. It's because I ask. I just did a deal recently where I took over the mortgage subject to, and because the house was I said no cash flow. I got the seller to bring $8,000 to the table. And I did that by asking questions. I said, you know, what kind of money do you have? Help, you know, there's really not much of a potential for me in this house. You got to bring some money to the table. So that's a way to do it. Now, another way to put a deal together from dealing directly with the seller is I raise private money through various means. And then what I do is I buy the house for cash. But that's the worst offer I'm ever going to make on a house. So you got the worst offer I'm ever going to make, which is cash, a very low ball offer. You got a subject to deal where you're taking over the existing financing. Or if it's a free and clear house, maybe I'm going to do seller financing. And what generally happens on a house is a combination of several of these. Like you may take over a small subject to mortgage and then get seller financing on top of it. Or you get the idea. Keep signing up. For, make sure you sign up for my web TV show. Make sure you watch these videos. I'm constantly talking about creative financing and different ways that you can learn about real estate investing. That's basically ideas I wanted to share with you today. That you have to stop thinking on a level about looking for deals. What you got to look for is opportunities and then make deals happen from those opportunities. And let me just give you one more idea. Let's suppose I'm in a situation where I can't do any kind of deal with the person. All right? I can't do seller finance. I can't do subject to. I can't. I, I can't make a cash offer that'll make them happy then usually what I do is I'll ask for the real estate listing give me a 30-day listing on the house what the hell's the risk you know, the house has been for sale for 11 months anyway so who cares give me the listing maybe I can move it on the MLS maybe something can happen from it so you should get your real estate license because that's always an option that I can fall back on that a lot of investors can't and a lot of investors say oh it's a conflict of interest having a real estate license and an investor and being an investor that's baloney just disclose what you're doing, disclose what, you, what you're capable of doing, and if you're a realtor, you disclose it. What's the big deal? You should be telling people the truth about any of these real estate deals you're doing anyway. So thanks for watching today's video. I'm Phil Falcone. Make sure you check out RealtyMark100.com. Make sure you check out AddictedToRealEstate.com. Make sure you pick up a copy of my book and make sure you put your name and email address in on my website. I got so many exciting things going on. You want to know about it. I also kick out a lot of wholesale deals on my Addicted to Real Estate website. So you get these TV shows, you get wholesale deals, you get to find out about the new and exciting things going on in the real estate business. I'm Phil Falcone. I appreciate you watching this video and have yourself a great summer.